Hello, welcome to episode two of my Lost Judgment playthrough. We went through the whole prologue section last time. It was a little bit lengthy, got us kind of up to speed on what everybody's been doing, where everybody is right now, reacquainted with the controls and everything. There are the beginnings of a new mystery formulating, and we're about to go see Tsukumo and Sugira in Yokohama at their new detective agency and see if we can help them out with something that they're working on. Let's do it. Chapter one, Black Sheep. Oh man, that wasn't even chapter one. <laughs> That was just the prologue. You know this Yokohama place. Yokohama 99's cross streets. Aww. It's not even close to Chinatown. So much for us getting a decent meal on this trip, huh? Well, then how about on the way home we take ourselves a little detour? Maybe. Sukumo's place is way out there. Want to take a taxi? Well, I suppose we could. But why don't we hoof it? Yeah, we could see the sights. I guess I'm on board with that. Are we going to see any familiar faces? Oh boy. <laughs> yep, we're back. <laughs> we are back. Whoa. I thought my game broke or something. Yo, hold up a sec, Doc. Hmm? Nonsense over there. <laughs> That's not what I saw. So, what'd you call me? What the? Hey, what are you filming me for? Knock it off. Chill out, man. Why do you care? I don't see anything that says I can't record here. Enough! Stop! Just give me a reason. You have one? It's a free country, isn't it? <laughs> Whoa! Hey! What gives? You just kicked my sight over! Ah, that was the wind, man. A big old gust just came through, right? Yeah, crazy. Just now it whooshed right over. Uh, I told to you! Put that down! Kids? Come on! <laughs> kids don't seem to give any fucks about people these days. Agreed. So much for seeing the sights, huh? Well, you're thinking what I'm thinking, aren't you? <laughs> Do you have to ask? <laughs> so, anything else you want to accuse us of? I'd say you must be losing it, Pop. You goddamn brats! I got that one! He called us goddamn brats! You picking on high schoolers, man? Uh, no, I just don't want you loitering in front of my store! That's all I said, okay? So stop disturbing my customers! <laughs> that part's not gonna make the video. Wow, is that one of those new smartphone models? May I? What the hell? Damn, the camera on this thing is amazing, man. Parents buy it for you. Whoa! Holy crap, he Are we actually gonna down. fight you must high be schoolers? saying things, kid. Anyway, your smartphone's kind of dirty, don't you think? <clears throat> Let me see. Hey! Give me my phone back! You want it back? I'll give it back, but only if you put this poor restaurant owner's sign back up first. Asshole! Us? You're gonna kick your ass! Wait. I hope they're all 18. Let's go. Snake strike. We'll use snake strike on the teenagers. That's a great idea. Snake style focuses on swift flowing strikes with and counterattacks. It works especially well against those carrying weapons. Harry, deflect attacks from any direction. Press L1 right before an enemy attack lands to deflect it. Disarm, remove an enemy's weapon. Grab an enemy with circle and press circle again while holding them. Press circle once more with the proper timing to successfully disarm them. Does not work on powerful enemies. Surrender immediately takes out a frightened enemy. 
When the EX guard with the EX guard charged, gauge charged, <laughs> approach a frightened enemy and press triangle. Wait, let's ooh. Oh, wow. Let's practice our parry here. Oh, I guess we have objectives here. Guard with okay, we gotta guard five times. Should run before we get in trouble. Uh, that stinks like a bitch. For fuck's sake, these guys are monsters. Yo, <laughs> was that Aikido just now? Oh, don't tell me you've been training in a secret dojo or something. We uh, sure have. It's more of my own thing, really. Figured I'd find a way to hold back for punks like them. Holding Here. back? This came from one of those kids. Your call what to do with it. <sighs> you really didn't have to. But thank you. Those were students from Serio High. <sighs> You'd think private school kids would be better behaved, but they're just as immature. They look like a bunch of entitled brats. <laughs> They'd learn some manners the hard way in Kamrocho. Well. We've got our fair share of unsavory types. The Yakuza, not to mention those Yokohama Leomong gangsters. Those kids wouldn't dare to mess with them. So they're selective about their targets. Yes. They'll only harass you if they think they'll get away with it. Think they'll be back for more? I certainly hope not. Anyway, I sure am glad you stopped by. Come to think of it, you're the only ones who've ever intervened. I take it you're not from around here? Yeah. But we might end up staying. For a while, at least. Ever hear of a detective agency called Yokohama 99? We were on our way there right now. Hmm. I'm afraid that doesn't ring a bell. That's all right. If anything, we should get going. Sure. Oh, but before that, please take this with you. Consider it a token of my gratitude. Wristbands! Aw, you're so sweet! Okay, wearing gear can help you bolster your defense, mitigate status ailments, enhance exploration, and more. They can be obtained from shops, minigames, and certain side cases. Take a look around town. See what you can find. You can equip up to two accessories, but they can't be two of the same item. Sounds good to me. Hello, Lizard. How's it going? 
You found Yakuza 0 through 5 on sale for $20 the other day, so one day you're gonna play those. Yes, 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 do it. Do it now. Do it today. Yakuza 0 is the best starting place. Do it. Yes, exactly. Thank you. Gear. We have an accessory, a wristband, which gives us attack plus 3%. I like that. What is it? Okay, let's try that some more. That was so cool. The EX actions are great. Let's go. Watch this. Yokohama 99. Yep, yeah, that's the place. Whoa, not too shabby, guys. Let's go! I can't wait to see them! Especially Sukumo. <laughs> he makes me laugh every time. Even though I forgot his name. Oh, sorry, Sukumo, I love Yo. you. Yo! Ah! It isn't the man of the hour, Yagamishi. Head of Yokohama 99. Gentlemen, welcome. How are you? <laughs> this guy. First he falls off the radar. Now he's got this sweet office. You're still quick as a thief. Maybe a little quicker, actually. Well, I'd say thief isn't very fair. It was stealing. Oh, come on. You know I wasn't doing it to line my own pockets, right? We took from the powerful and gave to the powerless. It was altruism. And it's all in the past now, so let's just leave it at that. Yokohama investigator. Sugiura. The place is nice, though. Kind of familiar, even. It should be. You're our inspiration, Yagami Detective Agency. You guys are the goal. Huh. For sure. So, how about you guys take a load off? If you're ready, I'll give you guys the briefing. Say what? A briefing, man? Let him go over what we know. I've actually got an agenda for today's meeting, too. An agenda? Just roll with it. Give him a chance. All the detective talk has made him go a little overboard. I'm sure it'll work itself out. <laughs> it's all good. Imitation really is the sincerest form of flattery. Let's do it! To sum up why we called you, we've been seeing a major upward trend with these kinds of cases. What do you think? Care to take a wild guess? I'll give you a hint. It's not a problem you'd find in Kamurocho. So, it's specific to Yokohama? I know. It's gang warfare. The outfits run in Chinatown or at each other's throats, and you guys sort out the aftermath. Well, we did just hear about the Yokohama Liumon. They're a gang, right? Yeah, the Yokohama Liu, whatever. But they're stirring up shit as we speak. Actually, we haven't run into any gang-related activity at all. No, what we're dealing with isn't so conspicuous. I'll just tell you, it's bullying. Bullying? Sometimes parents ask us for evidence to prove their child was bullied. Fairly often, they want these bullies taken to court immediately. 
They'll also want to hold the schools accountable. But none of that happens without solid proof. How old are these kids? Most of them are in middle school. Research mm. shows that boys at that age experience a sudden spike in testosterone. This leads to outbursts to assert dominance, compounded by the irrationality of an immature brain. Scientifically, this potent mix of impulses often manifests as bullying. Yeah, I call that puberty. But that would apply specifically to boys, right? You're getting cases with girls involved too, aren't you? Ah, with girls it's more likely rooted in oxytocin, a brain hormone that also has links to bullying. See. Oxytocin fosters feelings of attachment, regardless of your gender. For instance, scientists have observed that a mother's oxytocin levels surge when looking at her child. Well, then it's not always a bad thing, is what you're saying. Indeed. Did you know it was oxytocin that enabled cooperation among our primitive ancestors? Ancient History matriarchs lesson. were particularly vulnerable during childbirth, thus requiring communal support. So you could kind of say the survival and reproduction of our species was largely oxytocin at work. After all, raising a child in the wilderness would have been impossible alone. However, this intense social need bore a dark side. Individuals who failed to contribute were shunned and eventually condemned. Let's say there was a villager who never put in his fair share. All he did was eat the crops. If that became the norm, Nobody would work until the village was on the brink of starvation. And by then it'd be too late. Precisely. That's why these offenders were punished. Primitive as it was, punishment equated to justice. A necessary measure for society's greater good. And societies with a stricter sense of justice were the ones who endured in the long run. To put this into focus, these people are our direct ancestors. So from a science perspective, modern day bullying is just primitive? More like it's hardwired into our nature. Hormones are fucked up, huh? I wouldn't chalk it up to just that. However, we humans do tend to reject what's foreign to us. Whether we're socially awkward or simply misunderstood, those who don't conform are ostracized. That's how it's been since time immemorial. The misfits of civilization are deserving of punishment. All over the world, no matter where or when. This is all reference material related to bullying. Looks like you guys have been doing your homework. tsukumo -kun's the one hitting the books. I'm more in charge of the field work. Makes sense. He's reading this much. The bullying problem must... Um, problem really must be getting bad. Here's another fun fact while we're at it. An act of betrayal also increases the human urge to punish the offender. In those cases, the act of punishment floods the brain with dopamine, triggering an instant rush of pleasure. In other words, serving justice can feel just as good as eating or having sex. Sure, but that's where we have to draw the line. Justice can't be twisted into joy, or it stops serving its purpose. Very perceptive, Yagamishi. So, back to reality. What's this big case that needs all the manpower? Ah, yes. Our client is the chairman of a private school. He wants us to scour the campus for any and all instances of bullying, leaving no stone unturned. That said, he also requires us to be discreet. How big is this school? Uh, let's see, there are six classes per grade, making 18 in total. So approximately 600 students. Given that, Sugiyurashi and I couldn't possibly vet them alone. We'll be meeting the chairman at a restaurant tonight to lay out the specifics. How about the two of you come join us? We could use the help. Man, <laughs> for a couple of rookies, you sure have it together. You guys are free until dinner. Oh, we already made the reservations in Chinatown, by the way. Think of it as a little welcoming party. There you go, Kaito. The restaurant's you name is Kyoimo. If you could meet us there, that'd be great. Sure. <laughs> you didn't have to do that. Kaito says, shut up, Yagami. Yes, they did. <laughs> we made it. Kyo Inro. The 
Looks like this is it. Are you almost here, Yagamishi? We went ahead and sat down. Actually, we're right out front. Excellent. Just give the host my name then. Will do. <laughs> Was this the same guy living in a net cafe not too long ago? He sure has come a long way. Yeah, at this rate, he'll leave us in the dust. I think he already is. They're getting tons of business, unlike us. Without further ado, allow me to introduce Yagamishi and Kaito-san, the gentlemen I mentioned before. They are, without a doubt, the finest private eyes in Kamurocho. Ah, yes. Tsukumo-san here has certainly been singing your praises. My name is Okuda. I'm the chairman of a private high school, Serio, if you've heard of it. Okuda. Serio High. Isn't that where those kids were from? Yeah, the ones from earlier. Is something the matter? Yeah. We actually your ran into suck. some of your students today. There must have been seven, eight of them. They were harassing a restaurant worker and recording it on their phone. Oh boy. And I'm guessing you didn't just stand and watch? No, we beat you the bet shit your out ass of them. We did. Had to knock a little sense into those brats. You mean there was an altercation? I perhaps I should pretend not to have heard that. Come on, pal. Why don't we cut the formal crap and tell it like it is? You're right, it is Sojiro. Because that would be unprofessional, <laughs> Kaito-san. He's everywhere. Chairman, we'd like to start investigating tomorrow. So would you mind sharing any background information you may have? Certainly, yes. Our administration has a very firm stance against bullying. Yet no policy is foolproof, and each situation is unique. We continually so ask ourselves, are we taking proper measures to foster a supportive environment? Or, if enmity is already prevalent among the student body, are we addressing their concerns promptly enough? I believe the key is prevention. Stop bullying before it starts. And you're hiring detectives to help? Oh, yes. See, as this thought was dawning on me, I happened to cross a sign. Yokohama 99, it read. I visited your webpage, actually, and I discovered just how well-versed you were at this very matter. At that moment, I knew fate was guiding my hand. Sounds like you walked right out of a commercial. In most situations we've dealt with, we knew who the problem was beforehand. All we needed to do was get the evidence. But in this case, we don't even know if there's a bully in the first place. Hence, why we called in the reinforcements. So, I take it you have some sort of plan? Of course. We're going to start by spreading hidden cameras throughout the school, anywhere that bullying is most likely to occur. Is that legal? This footage should provide a detailed snapshot of student interaction that would otherwise go unnoticed. I guess as long as then, it's not Then, after the a two-week test run, we'll compile our data and present our initial analysis. Nothing beats a good old-fashioned spy cam. Yes, but if one of these spy cams were found, the whole operation could be compromised. As such, our pair of experts are intimately familiar with the complexities of human behavior, ensuring these cameras remain hidden. <laughs> Damn, you make me want to hire us. Mm -hmm. This secret stays between you and us, Chairman. Not even the guards or teachers can know. Do I have that correct? You do. I believe the more people who know, the more likely it is this would get out. That goes without saying, yes. At any rate, I've heard Yagami-san here has tackled many a difficult case in Kamojo. I'm glad to have such a reliable detective on the job. You have my full confidence and backing. <laughs> they just keep raising the bar on us, don't they? So, Yagami-shi, if there's anything you'd like to ask the chairman, now's your chance. Hey, good idea. We might learn a thing or two from watching the master at work. Way to put me on the spot, guys. But might as well. Okay. What do I ask? Mind if I order peeking <laughs> Hey, 
Hey, Chairman, you a big fan of Peking duck? Hmm? Oh, uh, it's very tasty. Isn't it? It's one of my personal favorites. Nothing like biting into warm, crunchy duck skin. Mm. Oh, and it's gotta be slathered in that special sauce. Are you eating okay, Yagamishi? You can place another order. If you could get back to the case, I'll make sure to keep your plate full. Oh, and he tells me to keep it professional. Okay, everyone's loosened up a bit. What's next? <laughs> okay. Uh, one day I will have, I will have it. One day I will eat Peking duck, Peking duck, whatever. The peckin' duck, and it's it's gonna be so good. I go so far as to hire detectives. Could you elaborate on why you're going the detective route for this? Like I said, my goal is to nip any bullying in the bud before it can grow any worse. And it's not enough for the teachers to be on full alert? Unfortunately, no. I'm afraid I can't fully trust whatever they jot down on some report. Hmm. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. What happened to the chairman to doubt the teacher's credibility? Okay. If bullying is found, what then? In the event we do uncover bullying, what action would you take? Of course, we would provide appropriate counseling, in addition to notifying the local authorities. Wouldn't that mean increasing the teacher's workload? Interviewing students, filling out paperwork, that could lead to making people not want to bother reporting it. Hmm. Sad to say, I can't rule out that possibility. The teachers have so much on their plate as it is. I doubt they'd volunteer to look for any extra trouble. That is why we must strike at the root of it. What if you offered your staff a bonus for catching any bullies in the act? <laughs> I know that'd motivate me. Mm. Uh, you don't think that'd backfire? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, it might be worth considering. But the fact of the matter remains. Bullying has no perfect solution. That is true. That is true. Regarding our scuffle with your students. So, we never actually resolved this, rats. but we did get into a scuffle with your students. No one got hurt, but how do you feel about that? No one got hurt? Uh, well, uh, I'm afraid I have to remain ignorant of that. Fine. But let me tell you one thing. Next time I see your students harassing someone, it's gonna be lights out. Kaito! The kitty gloves are off. <laughs> that also part of the Yagami Detective Agency package? Well, that went well. Thanks, Kaito. Probably shouldn't have asked that. Okay, you mentioned you can't trust your teachers. What's that about? Okuda-san. You mentioned you couldn't trust your teacher's reports. Why is that? Um, human error, I suppose. Behavior can be ambiguous, and it is difficult to notice every little detail. Your first response seemed to hint at something else. Yes. Yes, I suppose it did. Can you tell me what's going on? Uh, oh, where should I begin? You see, folks, it has been almost four years since the suicide of one of our students. The mm. poor boy hung himself at home. You mean, because he was being bullied? Not on paper, at least. We established a committee to investigate, but they never turned up anything. Neither did the court. Wait, you were taken to court? Yes. One of the student's parents filed a lawsuit. Now, there were online postings that may or may not have hinted at bullying. But the prosecution never found substantial evidence, and the court ruled we were in the clear. If I can ask your honest opinion, was there really no bullying, Chairman? I would like to believe there wasn't. But I may have been too far removed from the classroom to say that in good faith. Every day, I watch our students come to school, and what I see are young, happy kids. They're all so full of life, 
with bright futures ahead. However, around two months ago, we lost contact with one of our student teachers. Everyone assumes it's a mental health issue. The hell? <laughs> Don't tell me he got picked on too. That could have been the case, but I didn't get enough details to say for sure. From what I'd observed, he appeared to be getting along quite well with the students. But I later heard his family had reported him missing. A suicide four years back, a missing teacher. The school is no stranger to controversy. At the end of the day, I'm asking you to shed light on the darkness that's plagued my school. That is why I went the detective route. Okay, enough work talk for now. How about that Peking duck? Oh yeah. I think this conversation has been enlightening. Any thoughts, Sukumo? Hmm, what else is there? I suppose we'll have to see when we get there. We may have more questions then. That would be fine. All right then. Time to dig in or what? Are you really pretending you waited? You've been nibbling this whole time. <laughs> you call this nibbling? Hey, waiter! I want to place an order. And tell your chef, I hope his kitchen can handle this heat. Okay. Uh, I take it this place isn't exactly cheap? Don't you worry about that, Yagamishi. The bill's on us. It's your welcoming party, remember? In that case... Uh, excuse me. I'm ready to order, too. Baking duck! <laughs> New info has been added to your case file. Suicide at Serio High, persons of interest, and case synopsis has been updated. So, how was that for your first day's work? I realize that meeting was a lot to take in, but the task at hand seems pretty straightforward. Oh yeah. What was that you said about using hidden cameras? Tomorrow, we'll be deciding where to put them. We don't have all that many, so you know. Oh, and we'll be dressed as AC repairmen. What? You gonna make us wear uniforms? <laughs> of course! Freshly laundered and ready for duty. As you may recall, only the chairman is aware of our investigation. We must therefore deceive both student and faculty. Sounds like a plan to me. Why don't we do now, it? Now, let's call it a night. <laughs> You've got a point there. In any case, try not. to make yourselves at home. Apologies in advance if you find our amenities wanting. I was gonna say, why don't they just do it like after school when everything's closed down, but oh. <sighs> okay, it's not on auto. But I, I remember that like the school, schools in Japan, they don't, I mean, maybe it's different for private schools, but they don't really close, right? Like, students and, and teachers can come and go pretty much all the time. Like, not all the time, but at, at any time. Even at, even at night. Maybe they do lock up at night. I don't know. They're open late, though. But shouldn't there be a time where, like, nobody is there? They stay open late for club activities. Yeah. They want to see where the hot spots are to place the camera. That makes sense. They want to see where people congregate. That makes sense. Okay. Oh man, I've really done it now. Mm -hmm. What's up, Sugiura? I was shopping online and I bought two of the same skateboards by mistake. Oh no, guess I'm gonna have to take one off your hands. Huh? How'd that happen? It was limited edition, only available by lottery. So I pre-ordered it on two websites to have my chances. <sighs> this sucks. But then I was selected by the lottery on both sides. The second skateboard got delivered today. Wow, what luck. Can you just return it or sell it online? Hmm. 
returns aren't allowed, and yeah, I did think about selling it online. It's going for twice its original price, but... Yeah. Come on, if you can sell it for twice the price, then that's even better. You're making bank. No way! You can't! I won't allow it! As long as I live, I won't abide resales. None! Okay, but you're not my mommy, Sukumo. Ah. Hey, what's wrong? It's rare for you to get this angry. <sighs> He's totally against reselling now because a short while ago he was trying to buy this rare figure and couldn't get it. So he had to buy it from a reseller. Ah. Oh, I didn't know. I bought a limited edition copy of the game at three times its original price. Ah. I didn't want to give in and support the stupid resales industry, but I just had to have it. Can you understand my pain? Wait, so it's okay for you to support the resales industry? But because you did end up giving in and supporting the resales industry, now Sugiura can't do it? That's backwards logic, sir. Huh. No, sorry. I don't get it. You see why I can't figure out what to do with these skateboards? Sugiura-shi, why don't you let Yagamishi use it? I'm sure it'd be a handy way to get around Ijinsho. Huh? Give it to Yagami-san? Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Yagami-san. Would you actually use it, Yagami-san? I really don't know what to do with it since I can't sell it and they won't take returns. Tsukumo! You're just gonna make him throw away his money like that? At least let him sell it for the original asking price. There's nothing wrong with that, right? Huh? Yeah? You don't mind if I use it for free? Isn't it pretty valuable? You can just pay me back later. Next time you solve a big case and get a nice reward, treat me to something. <laughs> All right. I'll write it with gratitude. Yay, I got a blue tribal. <laughs> Rad, man. Hey. Oh, by the way, even though you can ride it around the city, you can't go on sidewalks. It's dangerous to skate where pedestrians are. What? But that ruins all the fun. Yeah. Okay. Got it. <laughs> I can't believe this! Huh? What's wrong, Tsukumo-kun? The Ebisu Pond in front of the station has the five-year anniversary limited color star love star figure! <laughs> sure, I read it on a random internet forum, but I don't think it's fake. I gotta buy it. Oh, and there's a reseller already closing in on it. Let's... Huh? Hey, wait. We still have stuff to do before tomorrow, like checking to see if all the hidden cameras work. But I have to hurry. If I let this opportunity slip by, I'll end up buying from a reseller again. <sighs> no, no. We need to make work our priority. Hmm. Well, maybe. Oh, but don't look at me like that, please. <sighs> yeah, okay. You want me to buy it for you? Oh, please? The reseller is already on his way. So can you go there now? Yes, I will go there with my brand new skateboard. Yeah. Sure. Might as well use my new skateboard right away. Well, this is nice because I remember can we did a little skateboarding in the first Judgment game, but it was only for like one little event and that was it. Pretty please, Yagamishi. I could never say no to you, Tsukumo. Based on the time of the reseller's last post, he's gonna be there in just three minutes. Gotcha. Okay, I just have to get there before then. I'm counting on you. Here's some money, 20,000 yen. All right, Yagami-san, do your best. Remember, you can't skateboard on the sidewalk, so be careful about your yeah. route. Got it, okay, here goes.
made it! Excuse me. I heard you had a limited edition Love Star figure. Yeah, we've got one, but it'll cost you 20,000 yen. Still interested? She's adorbs. Sure, I'll take it. Pleasure doing business. We got it! <coughs> Guess I'm too l I'm late to pick up my figure. Of course he's a like thrifty Yakuza. Are you the reseller Sukumo was talking about? Give me that figure and go. You're interfering with important business affairs. First come, first serve. I'm not giving it up. Well then, I'll have to take it by force. No way. Jeez, how valuable is this thing? Let's go. <laughs> Thanks to you, Gagamishi. I got an amazing collectible, and I didn't have to fork over money to a reseller. <laughs> hey. You wanted it so bad, he attacked me. Is it really so in demand? Yep. Oh, yeah. I guess the Ebisu pawn owner wasn't in the know, but this is a very rare color sample whose production line was canceled. This color has never been available to the public. There are only two of these in the entire world. And we got it for how much? Like 20 bucks? Oh. Wow, that's pretty unique. On the markets, it fetches a price of, oh, around 300,000 yen. Are you serious? 300,000 for one figurine? Seriously? <sighs> so you see why a reseller would be desperate for it. <laughs> such a splendid item does not belong in the hands of a reseller. But someone who truly appreciates I owe it. you one. It just goes to show, it was a fantastic thing that I kept Sugirashi from reselling a skateboard. It enabled me to buy this. Ha ha ha. With this, I'm free to focus on my work. I'm th sure the Sadio High mission will be a success. <laughs> I should call it a night. Rest up. On the couch. Okay. Ooh. All right. Maybe we could do this little um camera mission, and then hopefully we'll be able to uh, play through the whole thing. Yeah. Yagamishi. Remember those uniforms I mentioned yesterday? You'll need to put one on before we go. They should be a perfect fit. <laughs> After all, there's no information I can't find, body measurements included. Yeah, I don't oh. doubt that. You've never been one to miss a detail. Disguises. You'll need to mask your identity with a disguise at certain parts of the story. Open the items app and navigate to the disguises tab, then select the disguise and wear it. It can only be worn when an investigation specific, uh, specifically requires it. Oh, okay. Thank you, game. Work clothes. Yes. We've uh, done this before. Nostalgic, isn't it? Usually we're wearing suits when they when they do this like whole view and we're like walking up to the Millennium Tower and we're about to like do the final battle. <laughs> What's up with those guys? They sure look like men on a mission. 
But for what? We will now commence our journey by taxi to Sewio High. Let's go. Gentlemen, are we all ready? Remember, this case can open up a lot for us depending on how we solve it. So let's leave no stone unturned. <laughs> Don't worry. No case is too big or too small. We always swing for the fences. Ain't that right, Tom? <laughs> you know it. Good. Then let's get going. to go to Sadio High School. Must be the repairman. The chairman said you'd be here. I take it you know where you're going? Yes, but thank you anyway. Ooh, this place reeks of money. Uh, they are a prestigious prep school. Wonder if the kids are on recess. So, our first order of business is to analyze the layout of the school. The schoolyard should provide the proper vantage point. Let's head there. It seems this school's design is fairly conventional. See, there's the classroom building, and that must be the gym. By the way, how many spy cams do we have? Twenty in total, all of which feed directly to my computer. Think we ought to split them up between us? We could, but that might draw extra attention. We stick out enough as is, so people will wonder what we're doing alone. But if we moved in pairs, they'd write us off a lot easier. <laughs> Clever as always, Yagamishi. Heh. <laughs> that reminds me of something. When a con man pretends to be a cop, he'll usually bring along a partner. It seems the added person adds legitimacy. Unless you're a natural skeptic. All that is to say, Yagamishi knows his material. Hear that, Tom? <laughs> you should have been a con man. <laughs> Very funny. So, how about Kaito-san and I take half the cameras and you guys take the rest? Where are they, anyway? Right here. Now, these cameras don't see very far, but they do see wide. 150 degrees, to be precise. So let's try to set them up where we think a bully would be most likely to strike. So, we just gotta find the teacher's blind spots, eh? <laughs> You're looking at a natural, buddy. You would brag about something like that, Kaito-san. <laughs> Better stop before I blush. All right, guys, I think it's time for action. Okay, Tak and I'll start here. And you guys can work your way around opposite us. Affirmative. So is Kaito basically saying that he, uh... We've only got ten cameras, so we gotta use them smart. Right. I have no idea where to start. Um, wonder what he was doing trying to keep out of sight from the teachers. Probably trading Pokemon cards or something. I don't know. Oh, yeah, of course. The shoe lockers. <laughs> Bet all kinds of team drama goes down here. Oh, yeah? I think so. Yeah. That's where you drop love letters to your crush or challenge your rivals to duels. Dude, what century did you go to school in? Look, whatever. All I'm saying is, this place is worth at least three cameras. That many? Just for the lockers? Yep. See, a school never has that many blind spots. So when you do find one, you make it special. And this one's pinging my radar pretty hard here. Huh. Well, if you're that sure, let's do it. Tsukumo reporting in. I see you've set up a few cameras already. 
feed is coming in nice and clear. You guys are doing awesome. Thanks. How's things on your end? We just finished with the back of the gym. Next up is the classroom building. Copy that. All right, Tuck. Just follow my lead. Hmm, I feel like those are... They're not that hidden. But okay. I guess. Excuse us, we're doing very important repairman things. going classrooms the boys will handle this floor so let's go up one more gotcha every bully loves a good pair of stairs <laughs> pushing someone down and ruins their day pretty quick how do you know so you much really about that bullying? Often? Still, it is a blind spot. Yep, close corners make for poor visibility. Making this a number one choice among assholes. You don't say. Alright, then let's get a camera here. Alright. Let's move up to the next floor. This... I, I mean, I guess the schools in Japan are pretty... Like, the layouts, they all seem super familiar. Like, super similar. Every game that I've played, every anime that I've watched, like, they all look the same to me. built on the same layout really see the schools in america i feel like they're all just completely different from one another and surf and frog thank you for the 31 months that is awesome thank you hey steph yeah i am enjoying it uh, Steph, I, I like to do the dub for Judgment, and I do sub for the Yakuza games. And hey, Orange Squeeze, love the name. Alrighty. Let's go. Yagamishi, are you perhaps on the second floor? Yeah, we're about to start setting up. Okay, we're almost done with the first floor, and we'll be heading to the east building after. I think we can handle that all on our own. So can you finish up the second and third floors here? Sure, not a problem. Splitting up for a bit shouldn't hurt. How about I take the second floor and you do the third? Works for me. Let's see, somewhere out of the way and hard to spot. I have three cameras to install. Where's a good place to start? I'll put one on the stair landing just to be safe. Find another spot. Teachers can't exactly keep a watchful eye on the men's room. I'm sure bathrooms are prime bullying spots, but putting a camera here raises more ethical questions than I care for. I mean, I could just avoid the urinals, but I don't think...
All right, let's find another spot. I don't think that's allowed. Maybe in Japan, but there's like laws against that, right? No, there shouldn't be in the locker room either. I mean, I guess laws will be different for every country, but I don't think it's, I don't think that's allowed here in the US, but I'm not sure. I mean, I think the bathroom is a, an excellent place to install a hidden camera for this purpose. I just, I just question if it's ethical <laughs> and if there's not like some horrible lawsuits that are about to ensue. Oh, he said third and fourth floors, right? Is he a janitor? Uh, looking for something, pal. Yeah, I'm kind of busy, in case you couldn't tell. They just smoke inside the campus? Inside the building? Another blind spot. Be real nice if you'd step away for a sec so I could install the camera. While out and about, you may need to analyze the area or find something hidden. This is where observation mode comes into play. First, press L3 to switch to observation mode. You'll go into a first person view. Hold R2 to look more closely, then when you see something interesting, press X to examine it. Suspicious. He seems to have peeled the label off the bottle. Is he refilling with tap water? Maybe he's just being economical. If he's struggling with money, then I can buy him out at a discount. Anything else we want to focus on here? Say cheese. Okay, I really need this guy out of my way. Time for a little negotiation. I'll give you a thousand yen to move. Here, a thousand yen, no questions asked. That'll cover a pack of smokes, maybe two. You're saying I should take this? Well, yeah. Kinda sucks asking you to move on your break. <laughs> you know, you're not such a bad guy. In all honesty, uh, the budget's been tight this month. He's not curious, or, like he just not suspicious or anything? I figured he was short on money if he was refilling a plastic water bottle. Maybe he had like vodka in there, who knows? Okay, let's get this security camera set up. And that should do it. That's all the cameras. Better meet back up with Kaito-san. Kaito-san, I'm done setting up the third floor. Same. I've hit up every blind spot I can think of. Thing is, I've still got two cameras left. Maybe this tight corridor might be good. The teachers probably pass by without a second glance. Hey Kaito-san, don't you think we should be installing these in classrooms? Isn't that where bullying primarily takes place? You might be right about that. But we couldn't cover every classroom if we wanted to, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. yeah, fair it's enough. It's like 18 or something, right? Nice to see you putting so much thought into this. So, as professionals, we'll just have to make do with what we've got. We should set this camera up wherever we can get the broadest view. How about the ceiling in the middle of the hall? Then we'll see everyone going in and out of class. Okay, Tuck, I'm gonna give you a boost. So make sure you find a good spot for that thing, okay? Uh-huh. Okay. You know, we totally could have done this during recess. Everyone's just staring at us. Too late to whine now. Just do what you gotta do and be done with it. Huh? 
the slow mo. It's them. The bullies. Oh, put one in their classroom. Hey, you saw them, right? Those kids who started trouble at the restaurant. You noticed too, huh? Classroom 2 2. Sounds like we've got some bullies in there for sure. That'll be a prime spot for the last camera. All right. Just make sure they don't see your face. Excuse me, but I don't recall there being an inspection today. Uh... Uh... Whoa... Sorry to be in your way, ma'am. We won't take long. I understand. But nobody notified me we'd have any interruptions. Yeah. And nobody notified us this school hired such gorgeous teachers. You know what? I don't seem to recognize either of you. Probably because our usual repairmen were here just last month. Uh, I can't say I know anything about that. We're just here doing our job, ma'am. You can call me Sawa-sensei, not ma'am. And you're in my classroom. Forgive me, but who, may I ask, called you here? Damn, I think she's on to us. What's the best way out of this? Uh... I don't know if we should say the chairman hired us, which is true. Or if we should say, so this is how you treat people? <laughs> kind of like deflecting a little bit. Let's let's go with the chairman hired us. Let's try it. It was the chairman who called us in. I had assumed all teachers were notified. I mean, she can oh, verify the chairman. with him. Well, I suppose I should leave it at that then, hmm? Well, when you say it like that... It... Did he make this appointment with you directly? Yes. Uh, yep, sure did. <laughs> so, uh, thank you for your business. Hmm, and I'm sure our chairman gave you his name. His name? Oh, well, uh, that would be... Okuda-san. Okuda-san. I wrote it down on my How can notes. I forget? Yes, of course. I'm sorry for being so rude. Ah, oh, no. no problem at all, Teach. By the way, anyone ever tell you how stunning you are? I'd say you're just my type. My dream gal, even. What? <laughs> uh, ignore him, please. Like I said, we'll get this done quick and be out of your hair. Kaito! And we're done. Sorry again for the disturbance. We'll be going now. Can't she clearly, like, see that they put a camera? The hell was that, Kaito-san? You forget we're working here? Yeah, but man, that chick's the spitting image of a teacher I had a crush on. One of my few good school memories. That's no excuse. What, so that makes me the bad guy? Oh, sexual harassment. All right, all right. Back to work. I get it. This is Sukumo reporting in. Yagamishi, please respond. Hey, man. We just finished setting up the cameras. Good. So did we. Could you and Kaito-san meet us at the gymnasium, then? It's empty at the moment. I thought we might as well check the camera feed and discuss what to do moving forward. Got it. Then we'll see you at the gym. Woohoo! All right. Oh, nice moves. Let's see that again. Oh, it didn't. He didn't do it. This is the basement. Okay, the gym is this way.
Excellent work, gentlemen. All cameras are fully operational. So, now all we do is sit back and watch? Something like that, yes. By the way, Yagamishi, I noticed you installed a camera in a classroom. Did you find a lead there or something? Yeah, that classroom had those problem kids from yesterday. Thought they'd be worth keeping an eye on. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, nothing unusual's turned up yet. Well, it's only been like Guess five we'll have minutes. to watch and wait. If there's any bullying happening at this school, this is a surefire way to find out. Wrong as it is, there's something about smoking in school that makes it feel twice as good. You're awfully nostalgic today, Kaito-san. Yeah, well, my school wasn't as fancy as this one. Plus, I dropped out after a year. Uh-oh. Guys, check this out. I think we may have found something. Bullying in the act? What is it? Live and on feed? This is the classroom where Yagamishi set up the camera. Class 2-2. Then again. Now they're picking on a girl. Maybe they're giving her a massage. <laughs> Whoa, did you see that? Oh, no, no, they're writing something on her? With a permanent marker? Yo, Ta! Let's go kick the shit out of those punks. No way I'm letting that slide. Yeah, this is a problem. Hold on, Yagami-san. What now? Looks like they got what they came for. They're already leaving the classroom. Man, why's nobody helping her? It, it's like they don't even want to see it. They don't want to be the victims. the targets. You? Let's go, Kaito-san. So they're just turning a blind eye. I want to see what eye. happened with my own two eyes. Yeah. I suppose we should report this to our client. I didn't expect to find anything this quickly, though. But now, we have irrefutable evidence that bullying is real here at Serio. We'll have to take this up with the chairman and see how we should proceed. Dang! Here? Can we even stop here? Yeah, I guess we could. Let's, let's keep going. saw on camera let's get a little closer and see how she's doing how do you think she's doing hmm. what the I couldn't really see her face on the camera but I don't want to wake her up either She's just a cute kid. Why do they always have to go through such hell? Wonder if her name's written down somewhere. Suspicious. Someone wrote slut on the back of her hand in permanent marker. Just awful. Uh-huh. Hey. <laughs> Mommy Koda. That must be her name. This is Tsukumo, paging Yagamishi. 
Yeah, what's up? I've just reported our findings to the chairman. Could you meet us here? His office is on the third floor of the East Building. On our way. 